this video will, will demonstrate how to, or the method that I use to segment the lungs and the liver uh, using ITK SNAP 2.4 and whole body mouse MRI, it's a T1 weighted scan. Okay, so I've set up the labels already. Uh, I have lungs activated. I brought in the grayscale image already. You can see the name here on the upper corner. And this dash, this, so here's the IMG file, it's an analyze file. And here is the uh, file that I'll save the segmentation to. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna start by making my region. For lungs, so starting on lungs. So if I want to zoom in on any of these, I can just go back out. Uh, this will this will say, and I can click on that again. I don't want to do this pretty well. It doesn't have to be perfect, but. This is a pretty good data set too, so the lungs are pretty clearly outlined. Of course, segmentation depends on the on how well the data was acquired. So, um, okay, that looks pretty good. <coughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, for the lungs, now I'll press segment 3D. I'll pre-process using intensity intensity regions. I'll do let's see. I'm gonna do below or above, let's see. Yep. So I use the above threshold direction. And I just change the above the upper threshold until the lungs have white pixels. The background is blue. It's not gonna be perfect, of course, but this data set's pretty good, so just scroll through to make sure. Okay, I'm gonna crank up my smoothness. I'm gonna get the heart in this and then I'm gonna segment out the heart by hand later. So you can see the heart is a little bit here. This is where the heart is. <coughs> Actually, if I turn that smoothness down a little bit, that may remove more of the heart. You can see it there now. So let's just bring that up a little bit. Okay, actually, so the smoothness is down a little bit more. That may be good for not including some of the heart. Make it easier to segment out the heart later. So check that on all three views. That's pretty good. That looks okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Apply, okay. Hit next. Okay, I usually use a radius of about five. Okay, I'll add about 10 bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, Six. And I'll add bubbles in the different planes too. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Okay. So I have those. Next, before I run this, I'm going to set the parameters. Go into the snake parameter window. Just from experience, this, this works. The balloon force of 0.4 works pretty well. Curvature force of 0.2 works pretty well. 0 0.4, 0 0.2. Okay. Now I will start this. We're all ready to go. Step size one is fine. I'm gonna put this back so I can watch it on the actual image. I prefer doing it that way. 
choose a good slice. I'm going to wait for this. I'm going to wait for the uh, segment or the, the pixels to fill in the lungs, and then I'll press stop. Actually, let me turn this up here. So one thing that's let me put this opacity where you can see it better now. So I did that down here. Okay, press play again, and that's good enough. Uh, a little more. So let's see, I didn't get up here. Let's see if we can fill that in a little. All right, that's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Got the heart, but it's okay. We can segment that out. Okay, so that will be part one of that. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording now to make the next section of it. The next. I'm going to try to stop the recording. Okay, resuming this recording. Uh, this is for still on the on the lungs. So after I've just finished that, I'm gonna. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna press finish. And I want to update the mesh. Just look at that. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now right away, I want to save this because if you worked with ITK Snap for a while, it does crash once in a while. So at least this version. Uh, it's a great software, but just there uh, sometimes it just will stop working so okay so I already have the segmentation name the file I'm going to save it in NRD format save okay so that work is saved this is a pretty good segmentation you can see the lungs there pretty nicely okay but they do include the heart and I'm going to get rid of the heart now I'm also going to take take away that vessel okay so Get rid of the heart. Let's zoom in. I'm going to first just find the heart without the segmentation on. I want to change the window and level. So I can do that by going Tools, Image, Contrast. Okay. And this is a little funky, but just grab these. You can change window level like this. Okay. This way I can see the heart better in there. There's the heart right there, okay? So, the way I've been doing it is removing the heart. Uh, I think it's, you know, whoever's, it could be your preference if you want to just include the lung area. And you're always including the heart. It would, it would be a faster segmentation. Um, but it wouldn't, of course, it would, the volume would not be representative of the lungs. It would be the lungs and the heart. <clears throat> so what I do is I just I go through here slowly. I find the heart. There it is. And I will turn up the label opacity just a little bit so I can just start to see it. And I'll go to the clearing tool. Make sure I'm drawing over lungs. It's too big. And I'll just clear out those. This is pretty, pretty tedious, but the heart isn't that big, so I may need to do this in all three planes. Okay, so I'll do that. And I'll clear clear all the heart from the lungs and the coronal, and the sagittal. I'll find the heart. Okay, there it is. So I do the same thing. Similarly, I go through all the slices, remove the heart. Okay, there are more than that, but I'm just demonstrating. And then I will bring the axial into view. There's the heart. So we see the axial. Let's get the coronal in. There we go. It was centered right on the heart. There we go. So we can see it now here. Okay. So that's how I clear the heart out from the lungs. Okay, next video will be on segmenting the liver.